Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I heard you. And on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Something of us. 
So that's what he shows us by his life, the life of Jesus Christ. The three practices of Lent, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, that our Lord teaches us about in the Gospel today, his teaching is all centered around this one fact. We need to make sure that what we're doing is all for one purpose, so that our Heavenly Father can see us and we can enter into relationship with Him. That's the one purpose. So that means that when we give alms, we don't let our left hand know what our right hand is doing. Who are we doing it for? For God our Father. When we pray, we shut the door. We close ourselves to the outside world and enter into the secrets of our heart. And our, our Heavenly Father, He's not satisfied with just hearing our petitions. He's got to hear it all. you got to open it all up. Give it to Him. Tell it to Him. He wants to know the deepest secrets of our hearts. And then when we fast, we know that we're fallen human beings. So we know, why is it on Ash Wednesday, the day that we're not supposed to eat meat, we're supposed to be fasting, that you just really want that burger? Why is it on every single Friday at Lent, where you might have gone to you know, the, the, the seafood place, but for some reason that Friday, you really want to go to the steakhouse? It's because we're fallen human beings. We know this. We know our desires are sort of, you know, they're fickle friends. They're always going out after things that they're not, not quite supposed to to be going after. And we have to rein them in a little bit. We know that. So that's what our fasting is about. We have to say, we have to rein in our desires so that we can refocus them. Refocus them on God. <coughs> refocus them on our Heavenly Father and desire for Him. So that's why we wash our face. That's why we don't look like we're fasting. Because we're really fasting knowing that we desire God our Father in relationship with Him. And that that desire is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. And so we fast now already with the joy of the resurrection. So today, as we enter into this season of preparation, we ask for special grace, especially that we would realize that we are created beings. We are not God. We have placed ourselves in the hands of God our Father. And all that we do, we might do so that he may see us, might enter into relationship with us. Dear brethren, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers. In your kindness, pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
You should pour out our prayers at all times, dear brothers and sisters, but above all, all, in these days of Lent, we have to watch more intently with Christ and direct our petitions more fervently to God. We pray for the whole Christian people that in this sacred time they may, they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. We pray for the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the whole world that in for lasting tranquility and peace, especially for those in Ukraine and Russia and all those affected by the violence there, that they might be washed over by our Lord Jesus Christ and might come out of this um, through peace and justice. We pray for the Lord. The Lord we pray for sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation they may return to Christ. We pray for the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves that God may at last stir up in our hearts a version for our sins. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart, so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer, they may receive by your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen.
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to you. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts be brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. <coughs> for on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Lord, we pray for the 
country heathen, graciously grant the peace of our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So you might go to the archangel. Confess to God. Be our protection against the wickedness of the sinners of the devil. May God forgive you and come unto pray. And may thou the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, be cast into hell Satan, and all those who are in hell, and all the evil spirits who are out of the 